Hello everyone, this is Daniel with fitnessblender.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest workout videos when they come out every Monday. Today we are gonna be doing a HIIT routine. It's gonna be kind of an overall total body routine. Uh, we have warm up and cool down included so you don't have to worry about getting those in on your own. And this is a no equipment workout so you don't need any pieces of equipment whatsoever to get this done. So with that said, let's go ahead and do our warm up. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece. We're starting off with a side arm cross, so just nice, slow step side to side. All right, here we go. Just nice and slow, back and forth, kind of just warming up those hip joints, those shoulder joints. Just take your time. Try to get a nice full range of motion on that chest, on those shoulders. Just kind of slowly stepping back and forth, warming up those ankles and those hips just a little bit. Always want to start nice and slow and build into it, especially if you've been sitting for a really long period of time. All right, toe touch sweeps are next. So feet just about shoulder width apart. You go down one side, touch those toes, come across and up the other side. So just kind of rotate those shoulders as you do so. You want to keep those hips pretty much facing straight forward. Just nice and slow, back and forth. Keep those lungs open, just breathing normally. All right, the next one is a high knee with a twist. So one knee comes up, rotate towards that knee, and then same thing, the opposite direction. Just step back and forth, start slowly, work into that range of motion, start speeding it up slowly as you can, as you feel comfortable. As long as you can control it, never speed it up to the point where you're out of control. Keep those lungs open, no holding your breath. We have a squat push pull next. So you're gonna squat down, press out away from you, pull in as you stand back up. Keep that back flat, keep that squat form nice and clean. Even though you're not using any weight, you always wanna practice clean form. Press out. Pull in, you wanna do a nice wide pull up high, or you can do a close pull down low next to your body. Just kinda of alternate it back and forth. All right, we got arm circles next. Let's start with a nice big circle, arms cross over top. Reverse that direction, come back around. Back over, switch which arm is on top. Always wanna alternate. Even in small, small uh, differences, like having one arm over top and this isn't that big of a difference from left to right, but you always want to swap it up. You never want to have an imbalance from left to right. All right, we're doing side lunges with a stretch next. So get those feet up nice and wide. Squat off to one side or lunge off to one side, excuse me. Stretch it and same thing off to the other side. Just keep those lungs open back and forth. Squat circles coming up next. So again, feet just a little wider than shoulder width apart, maybe uh, just a little outside shoulder width. You're gonna squat down one side, sweep across, up to the center, and down to the opposite side, and back to the center. Just keep alternating back and forth. Take your time, nice full range of motion. Again, keep that back flat. Just warm up those legs a little bit. Let it relax, we've got boxer shuffle next to come up on those toes. Nice full deep breath. You might feel yourself warming up just a little bit, that core temperature coming up. You might feel yourself breathing a little heavier. That's exactly what we're going for. So if you need to, speed it up just a little bit more if you're not feeling that quite yet. Up on those toes. We're gonna be doing up and outs next. So with a little bit faster motion. So one leg at a time comes up and out. Try to keep those hips straight, facing straight forward, no rotating off to the left or right. 
Get those lungs open, stay up on those toes. Trying to warm up that hip joint. Got one more exercise with warm up left. It's uh, just a traditional jumping jack. So start into it. Keep those arms nice and straight. No bending those elbows. You want a nice straight arm, contract that shoulder. Keep everything nice and tight. No swinging uncontrolled. You want to feel like you could stop at any moment and hold that position without too much swing or too much sway. Almost done. All right, that was our warm up. We'll be right back to start into our first group of hit. All right, everyone, for this hit routine, we're gonna be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for each one of the exercises, two sets per exercise, and we're gonna be doing them in groups of two. So A, B, A, B, between different, two different exercises. So with that said, let me start my timer here. We're starting off with runners. Uh, we're doing one leg at a time. So we'll start with our left leg planted, right leg's gonna be one moving, kind of back in a little bit of a lunge. You're just gonna pump that leg back and forth. Make sure you're pumping those arms as well. Let's keep that back relatively flat. Just push through that motion. Keep those lungs open. When we're done with this first set, we're gonna to switch to the other exercise, which is a plank jack. So we're gonna drop down on the ground. So drop down on the ground. You can either do this off of those uh, elbows, just pop those feet in and out, or if you want a really hard version, get those arms going into as well. So easier version is here, harder version, is here. You can always drop down on those knees to make it a little easier for yourself. So if you're doing this version, it's still too hard. Drop down, out, out, in, in. All right, back up. We're gonna be switching to the other side now. So your left leg, or sorry, excuse me, your right leg's gonna stay planted. Left leg's gonna move. Here we go. And start up. Make sure you're pumping those arms in the right direction. As that left leg comes forward, your left arm goes back. Keep those lungs open. And let it relax, drop it back down on the ground. Another round of those plank jacks. So again, easier version is on those elbows. Pop those feet in and out. We're down on those knees nice and slow, or if you want a lot of work, hands go with those feet. All right, let it relax. Move to our next group. We're going to be starting off with squat jumps. So, feet just about shoulder width, a little wider, back flat, squat down, and jump right back into a squat. Jump again. Jump nice and hard every single time. If you want to make it easier, just jump up on those toes, get rid of that uh, impact. Let it relax. We're moving to a plank with the knees, so back down in a plank position. This time those elbows stay down. One knee comes up out to the side. And then the other, just alternating sides. Try to keep that knee up off the ground so it doesn't scrape. You can always go off those knees. If you can, stay up in that full plank. All right, back up. Back to that squat jump. Feet just about shoulder width apart. Start it up. Again, if you want a little easier, just come up on those toes. Let it relax, back down on the ground. Out in that plank, and knee up. One out to the side, same thing on the other. Try to keep those hips perpendicular, excuse me, parallel to the ground, so no twisting.
stand back up. All right, we have one more group to go. This is going to be high knees and a plank push up. All right, so high knees, get those knees going. Step on those toes. If it's too much impact, you're too tired to switch to a quick high knee march. All right, plank to push up. So back down in that plank position. So start plank, elbow de elbows down, one hand comes up, then the other, go right back down with that same hand, then back down. Start the other side, up, last one to come down, goes back up. All right, back up. High knees again, deep breath, try to recover. Start them up. Deep breath while you're doing this. Exhale through pursed lips, so blow out through your mouth closed. Increases the pressure in your lungs. Gets a little bit more oxygen into your bloodstream. Back down. Out on that plank. Come up, back down, same hand. The last hand to come up is the first hand to come down. All right. Whew. All right. Good job on the first round. That was our first group of hit exercises. Take a little bit of a water break. We'll be right back to start into the second group. See you in just a second. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with that second half of this routine. Let me get my timer started. All right, we're starting off with jumping lunges. So, nice big full deep breath. Keep those lungs open, keep that back flat straight up and down. Down and switch. Remember, if you're starting to get too tired and it starts becoming unstable, then feel free to just do an alternating lunge just out and back. But if you can, keep that jumping lunge going. All right, we're going to just a traditional jumping jack next. Deep breath, a little bit of a break here. And start up. This isn't a warm up jumping jack, this is a hit jumping jack. So try to go as quickly as you can, arms straight, nice and rigid, really pushing yourself. All right, 10 second break, going back to those jumping lunges. Nice full deep breath. Start up. Keep those lungs open. Keep that torso straight up and down. Let it relax. All right. Another round of those jumping jacks. Full deep, deep breaths. Start them up. Contract that shoulder, that core. Move those arms and legs nice and quick. And let it relax. All right, pop squats are next. Deep breath, try to recover. <clears throat> out, pop the top, nice wide squat, if you 
you want to slow it down, make it easier, just squat out to the side, back to the center. All right, let's relax. We've got front jacks next, so hands start right in front of your body. Start them up. Contracted shoulder again. Try to get that arm directly straight above your head. No stopping out here. It's a straight up. Legs do the same motion, just out. So the legs goes up, those arms go up, and legs in as those arms come down. All right, another round of each of those. Feet together, jump out, squat, back to the center. Again, easier version is just out and back. If you want a harder version, then you're going to be doing a squat at each location. Otherwise, just pop the center. Let it relax. We've got front jacks again. Arms in front of those thighs. Start it up. Keep everything contracted. Last group, we've got lateral jumps to start off with. <clears throat> off to one side, back to the other. Back flat, but bent forward from the hip. Stay low, that motion should be going laterally, not up and over, you wanna stay low. Relax, fly jacks are next. Arms start in front, out and in. Nice quick motion, keep that shoulder and core contracted. jumps one more time. Start them out. The goal is to try to jump laterally the same height you are if you were laying down on the ground. Flat back. Relax. One more round of that fly jack. We're almost done here. Hands up, start them up. Push as hard as you can. So last exercise. Nice and quick. All right. Let it relax. Recover for just a second. We'll be right back to do our cool down. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and finish this up. Start my timer here. Doing each one of these exercises for 30 seconds a piece. Starting off with a chest stretch to find an open piece of wall or a door frame. Fingers facing back behind you. And you're going to rotate back away from that hand. If you're feeling it a lot through your forearm and it's uncomfortable, just step forward a little bit. If you want to feel more through your form, which is really great if you sit at a keyboard a lot, then lean back away from it, stretch out the palm of that hand as well as that forearm. Constantly trying to pull that shoulder back away. And do the same thing on the other side. Switch it. Fingers facing back behind you. Rotate that chest. Again, if it's too tight on that forearm, step forward not tight enough or you want more of a stretch, step back, press that palm into the, that wall as flat as you possibly can and turn away. Should feel it through that chest, a little bit in that bicep and through that forearm. If you're feeling it too much in your bicep, turn the inside of your elbow to face up. If you want to feel it more in your bicep, rotate that hand so that elbow, inside that elbow is facing forward. And relax. 
All right, we're doing a quad stretch next. So one hand, or same uh, hand as foot, pull it back up behind you, squeeze that heel to your butt, pull that thigh back behind you. You should feel it in that quadricep. Make sure you're keeping your chest straight up and down. Same thing on the other side. Switch it. Same hand as foot. Squeeze that heel to your butt as close as is comfortable. Press that knee back behind you. Torso straight up and down. And hold it. We're going to do a regular toe touch next. Feet just about shoulder width apart. Start with a flat back. Tip straight forward. Feel that stretch, that hamstring. Might feel it in those glutes a little bit, in those calves a little bit. Keep those legs nice and straight. Even contract, uh, contract that quadricep. And then round that back down towards those toes as far as is comfortable. Again, trying to keep those legs nice and straight. Back up, we're gonna do inside thighs, so feet really nice and wide apart. Turn one foot out, bend that knee, lean back towards that straight leg. Should feel it to the inside of that thigh on that straight leg. The key is not lunging down really deep, the key is just to tilt your hips back towards that straight leg. So you're trying to drop this hip down towards the ground. Same thing on the other side, so turn that other foot out, bend that knee, drop that hip down towards the ground. You should feel it through the inside of that thigh again. Just hold it. Keep those lungs open, breathing normally. Try to get as much oxygen into your system as you can. Try to recover as best as possible. We're going to sit down on the ground next. Uh, soles your feet together. Pull those shoes in or those feet in as close as is comfortable. And then pull down with the outside of your thigh down towards the ground. Should feel this all the way through the inside of that thigh and down through that groin. This is one where a lot of people are inflexible and cause a lot of problems with that hip. So is a good one to focus on. All right, on your stomach. Oy. Feet out back behind you, hands by the base of your rib cage. Press up into a cobra. Lock out those elbows if that's comfortable. Tilt that head up, press those shoulders down away from those ears. If that's too much on your back, then keep those elbows bent slightly. Just go up as high as it's comfortable. Relax, sit back into those heels, hands out in front of you, let that back relax. Bring those hands down by those knees, press into those palms, round that back, push those shoulders down into those hips. All right, guys, that is the end of this routine. I hope you guys liked it. Let us know what you thought in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. This workout is complete.